The Sports Scouting Report with Libra King. Brought to you by Harvey Autos in Shreveport, Bossier City. The name you've trusted for years. Geico, the insurance savings you expect. Supreme Chevrolet. Expect more from Supreme Automotive Group in Gonzales. Total Car Care. Tire Shop and Automotive Repair in Baton Rouge. Bollinger Shipyards, 75 years of delivering high quality vessels. Here's your host, Lee Burkeen. Hi everyone, Lee Burkeen, your host of the Sports Scouting Report podcast and also we own Louisiana Football Magazine. This show is all sports. Today we're gonna to talk about basketball. We're gonna have a show just for Harold Boudreaux, former LSU basketball player, yes, played at Cecilia High School, which I know where Cecilia is. If you get lost in Bro Bridge, you just hop across the interstate, go to Cecilia, and uh, a great community. Um, was the last big time recruit to come out of Cecilia for basketball. Harold Boudreaux is now the boys basketball coach at Southern Lab High School. Harold, good to Thank see you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. I, yes, sir. I ran into you in the parking lot when I first yeah, started this morning. Uh, God's work. Uh, you know, it's mysterious that it happens in strange ways. Uh, just happy that we get a chance to talk. You're at Southern Lab. I want to get to Southern Lab, but I want to talk about LSU first. Um, your class that you signed, what we, we were talking about, Vernell Singleton, Maurice Williamson, Stanley Roberts, Chris Jackson. I'm going to still call him Chris Jackson. Yes, sir. That's what I remember covering him yes, as. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, what a class. Yes, yeah, strong group. Uh, coachable. Understood the grind. Understood the hard work that would have to be put in to play in the SEC has yeah. always been tough. Uh, good group to be around, a lot of brotherly love. Uh, looked out for one another. But that was all instilled, uh, you know, your parents. But one of the biggest things is Dale Brown was that leader of that group. Yeah. And it made it so, so, so strong to what he believed in is what we believed in also. I know Dale, man. He, he you get inspiration every time you talk to him. Always, always. He's always got something to give you from one of his books or, yes. or some kind of poem or yes. something. But mm -hmm. he's always positive. Always. And, and till this day, uh, he's one of the greatest person uh, that ever came into my life. He changed a lot of things. People don't realize that don't, when they don't know Dale, how much. Oh, wow. wow. A lot of people, I mean, he's a great wow. guy. Yeah, and, and I run into different people every day, and, and everybody has their opinion. Uh, I allowed him to have that, but I'm, I'm always I'm always in support of Coach Dale Brown because he's done a lot for those who are unfortunate, especially, uh, and that's that's much respect. You got to respect that. I want to ask you a question before we take a break, and we can come back and talk about Southern Lab. But out of all the guys you played with, who are you closest to in that signing class? Stanley, Maurice, Vernell, Chris, Jackson. I would say it was probably all about the same. Um, all of them. All of them were well connected, had the most respect for each other. We knew where each person came from, uh, and we knew what our purpose, why we were there. That's what made it even better. And you were the only Louisiana guy? At that time, yes, I was the in only Louisiana in that class, yes. yes. Chris was from Mississippi, Mississippi. Stanley Nelson from Natchez. South Carolina, yes. Maurice, Connecticut. Connecticut, yes, sir. Have you talked to any of them lately? Have you stayed in touch with these I guys? I saw Chris Jackson uh, last summer because he has a young son that's coming up in the okay. basketball world. Okay. Uh, he's still in touch with the sport. He's still doing some, you know, guest speaking, uh, doing some good things to encourage basketball and, and some of the good things he wants it to come along with that. Uh, but I talk to Stanley every once in a while. Uh, yeah. Social media makes it easy. Um, just, just stay connected. Um, and when we get a chance to talk, we, we do. It's not always long. It's brief. Hey, how you doing? Everybody's so busy now. Everybody's busy. Right. Uh, you know, we lost one of our teammates, Wayne Sims, about six, seven, eight months ago, over a year, I'd say. Yeah. Uh, and that kind of brought us together. But it's like we always say, uh, let's try to come together besides at a bad moment. Condolences uh, again to that family. Just a lot of, yeah, you know, yeah. with his son passing yes, not long yes, before that. Yes, yes. I still years. remember the phone call. <laughs> and yeah. it, it, was, it was devastating. Um, we're going to take a break. We're going to come back with more Coach Harold Boudreaux at uh, Southern Lab High School. I want to talk about Southern Lab, his team. i got a bunch of his players I want to mention. And then I want to ask him about what he thinks about college basketball today with keeping your team together and using the portal and what that's like. And it's hurting high school kids, but it's not hurting basketball. Right. We'll be right back. Thank you. 
Listen, whatever you're driving right now, Tommy Harvey wants it. Bring it in to Harvey Subaru, Lexus of Shreveport, Bossier City, or John Harvey Toyota. They're paying big bucks for all trades right now. They'll cut you a check right there. Tell them Lee sent you. Supreme Chevrolet. Expect more from Supreme Automotive Group in Gonzales. Total Car Care. Tire Shop and Automotive Repair in Baton Rouge. Welcome back, Lee Burkeen here at Southern Lab High School. We're doing a show just with Harold Boudreaux, the head basketball coach, uh, former LSU power forward. Is yes, that what sir. you want me to call yes, you? Yes, sir. Because uh, just forward. I would say forward. I would say uh, power forward. And then six, it, eight, nine. Six, eight, six, nine. Yes, yeah. sir. Legitly speaking, because uh, we were big. We were yeah, seven, one, a... seven, two, six, ten, six, eleven. We had a big, big group along with Gert Hammock, who was also there at the same time. Big group, so you had to. Make it work. The Netherlands. Yeah, yes, good people. <laughs> the girl good, was good pretty people. good. Yeah, yes, yes. He did some good things at that time. Yes. So, so Harold signed with Stanley Roberts. Shaq came in the next year. Following you, yes, sir. And Along with Sean Griggs. Sean Griggs was another Sean Griggs. Uh, Louisiana connection. It was Faraday? Yes, sir. Faraday yes, High sir. School. Cecilia High School, Harold. Yes. You want to give a plug to uh, your home school, hometown? Uh, those Bulldogs are always... Uh, Always working hard, uh, <laughs> great athletes, good people. The hospitality is always in place. Uh, nothing but love. Almost nothing the same love. colors as us. Yeah, when I, when I got here and I saw these colors, I said, wow, I'm just changing the name. So it's, it's going to be easy to adapt, easy to adapt. Well, before we talk about your team, what made you go into coaching, Harold, after you got done with playing ball? Wow, that, that, it's amazing because I, uh, I, I felt like there was so much more that I could give back that was given to me by great people like the Dale Browns, my high school coach, Father Wills, my AAU coach, Dave, Dave Thibodeau back in the day was, was so genuine, it was real. And, and today's kids, especially, kind of need that guidance as much as possible. Yeah. Different generation, different time, but it's still needed, it's still needed. A memory from LSU, any game that sticks out to you uh, when you played at LSU? One of the, one of the games I, I remember being a starter playing against uh, uh, UNLV, they were loaded. Oh, man. Uh, Stacey Augman? Larry Johnson, Larry. Stacey Augman. Anthony, Greg good, Anthony? Yes, yes, a great group. They came into Tigers, the PMAC, and and we took care of business that day. Y'all won. And we won it, that's right. It was and a high scoring game, wasn't Yes, it? very. It was, one, it was one of those high scoring games. There were so many, so many great moments. You know, you even think about uh, Loyola Marymount during that time, 148 to 146. Uh, a lot of conditioning, let me just say that. Like Jerry Torkanian. Yes, yes. Back yes, when he was at yes, UNLV. Yes, he was. The legend. Yes, sir. Great, great coach. Great, great, coach. great time. I was at that game. That yes, was sir. a great game. That was a day game, I think. It was a day game, and I think that for some reason I'm, I'm tying uh, uh, Arizona to that. Brian yeah. Williams was the centerpiece for them at the time. And uh, just great, great times. Uh, a lot of growing. Uh, getting a chance to meet some great players, great great people, great coaches throughout throughout my time that I was there. Dale had a lot of those West Coast teams on the schedule. Yes, I, I, think he had, a... I think he had a good connection, uh, uh, and that kind of gave us a gift, different look, a different style of play, to get just for preparation to get you yeah. ready for the NCAA tournament. So, Harold, you've been at Southern Lab three years, boys basketball coach. I want to throw some names out that you gave me. You want to honor these guys or seniors of yours. Most definitely. Um, Cameron Hardnett. Easy, hard worker. Gave it every day, 110%. Coachable. Troy Murphy. Solid kid. Very, very coachable. Very coachable. Joseph Harris. Uh, the, kind of, the kind of person that a, a father would want his daughter to marry. <laughs> there you go. Bryson Chapman. Bryson Chapman. Coachable. Uh, very, very knowledgeable of the game. IQ very high. Kind of direct on the court. Chad Botley. Chad Batley. Batley. Uh, hard worker, does his part in, in everything that we ask him to do uh, without complaining. Last question I had for you is uh, we talked off there about college basketball, um, you know, NIL, the portal. Most definitely. You told me the portal is hurting high school kids signing, but it's right. not hurting the college game. It, it, it does hurt the high school side of it. Uh, unless you're six eight six nine with a smooth jumper and rarely yeah rarely uh, uh, it's it's a different world it's a different world today's kids uh, it's tough it's tough and you have to be in the right place at the right time for that university to 
to want you or yeah. to get that attention. Uh, yeah. There's so much out there with social media and every little aspect of it. It's, it's, a, it's a big part. But the transfer port is, is, is tough. And, and, you know, and I get it. As a, as a college coach, you got to go and you got to get them. You yeah. Know, yeah. You got to be successful to stay in your position. So uh, with NILs in place, uh, it makes it even more challenging. Uh, you have fans at LSU that, I don't know, I guess they're just, if there's been some rough years. McMahon inherited zero players. Mm -hmm. where, where do you think he is right now as a coach going after two years? I, I mean, I saw a lot of improvement. What do you, what do you right, think? I, improvement, look, he's, he's, he's getting it. He's getting the right type of kids who want to be at Louisiana State yeah. University. That's first. Kid got to want to be here. It's a different culture. It's a different atmosphere. The love is always going to be in place, but it's a great place to be. Uh, I think coach is doing everything that he can to be successful. I think he's giving every kid a chance who comes onto his campus to be successful. Yeah. You got to be that kid who wants it. You got to, that loyalty is very, 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 very sensitive. You got to be loyal to the program. You got to be willing to take the bruises. You got to be able to, to accommodate to a lot of things that goes on because there's, there's a lot of great things. Yeah. And you got to yeah. be very, very tight, mindfully. So just to keep that in place. Harold, what do you think of this? So when a guy like Jalen Reed, his game, 6'9", he's showing a little potential there. And then you got schools like North Carolina offering you NIL money, trying to steal the foundation of, of other teams. And, and you got to keep those guys, <laughs> right? It's tough. It's tough to keep them. Uh, but every kid wants to play. Um, it makes it, you know, you know mid-majors, have great kids, great players out there. But when you have that power five schools of the SEC and this school in the SEC giving you some attention, it's easy to take. Not so much always the NIL. Sometimes yeah. it's the exposure. Sometimes it's, it's, it's just a better situation. So I'll tell any kid today, you know, uh, always have that conversation with your family, uh, trusting God that you're making the right decision and you should be okay. Appreciate you doing yes, sir. this. Thank I'm glad you. we're able Thank to do you it. For, yes, I, I know it's in the midst of Do it for basketball. Yes, man. do it for basketball. Do it for love. We need more exposure for basketball. Most definitely. Most definitely. It's tough. Before we go, who do you think is going to win it all in men's? Do you have a team? I, I was pulling for Texas A&M because that's where my son is a red shirt oh. freshman at. Of course, but that's okay. Okay. Those things happen. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm pulling for anyone who wins it. I, and they I had it. They took yeah, it they over, were there. They took they it were over there. time. Tough, they tough, tough. Buzz, Buzz Williams is tough. He does a good thing. He not only make some great players, but he makes some great human beings at the same time. Yes, sir. Uh, if I had to pick one, Duke is looking good. Duke's, Duke's looking, looking good. good. Yes. And I, my sleeper's Creighton. Yes, all oh, that. Much respect. Don't sleep on Purdue now. You got to watch the big seven man. foot five yes, guy. Yes, yes, he ain't just seven foot five. He's a good basketball He can shoot. He can play. Looks yes. like Mark Eaton. Remember yes, Mark he's Eaton? Good. Remember that yes. guy? A little more, a little a little smoother. more smoother than Mark. Yeah. Mark was a little slower. But. Yes, yes. And then on the girls' side, it's uh, obviously everybody's going to say South Carolina, but yes, South Carolina you can't keep tough. Malky out of it. You, you uh, can't. Look, Coach Malky, uh, much respect. Uh, if you pay attention to her conversations and, and interviews, she is so, so on point with everything, and she's genuine. That's what I love about everything that she's doing right here at Louisiana State University. And the players that she has, they, they buy into what she believes in, and it makes her coaching so much easier. Harold, appreciate yes, you, man. Yes, thank you again. Appreciate yes. you. Harold Boudreaux. Yes, thank you for having head me. Head basketball coach here for uh, Southern Lab High School and also former LSU Tiger. And glad to promote basketball. Hope you enjoyed the show. We'll see you soon. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thanks for watching the Sports Scouting Report with Lieber Team.